In this video, I'm gonna show you the lead matrix, why it matters for remodelers and custom builders, and how to leverage it to earn more sales. There are two axes, four quadrants, and one giant opportunity. Let's talk about leads. I wanna talk about something called the remodelers lead matrix and it applies to custom home builders as well. Basically, any business with a considered buying process and a longer sales cycle. On one side of our matrix, we've got leads that are ready to buy now and leads that are ready to buy later. On the other axes, we have leads that are warm and leads that are cold. So let's break this down. I'm Spencer Powell, CEO at Builder Funnel. We're on our way to generating a billion dollars in revenue for our clients. Hit subscribe to follow along. Of course, our favorite leads are the warm leads ready to buy now. These are typically referrals that are ready to move forward with a project. But if we forget about the other three boxes, we aren't going to hit our sales goals. Maybe some years you will, but most likely you won't. And we don't want to leave it up to chance. So how do we approach these other three boxes? Let's look at warm leads later. These are typically referrals, but these prospects aren't ready to buy. Maybe they're saving up, maybe they're still researching the process, or thinking about what they really want. They could be three months, six months, or even a year or more away from actually moving forward with a project. Now, here's where most people make the mistake. They think because the lead isn't ready now, they aren't a good lead. It's simply not true. Just as an example, I've personally signed contracts with leads that I've been in touch with for two or three years. And at the end of the video, I'll show you how and why this happens. Okay, let's look at cold leads that are ready now. These are typically leads generated from marketing and advertising efforts. These prospects are ready to find a company to help them remodel, but they don't know you. Maybe they found you on Google or saw your sign in their neighborhood. Either way, they end up on your website and are starting to learn more about you. The important thing to remember about these leads is that your sales approach has to be different from that of a referral lead. You need to build a lot of trust and credibility that's already built in with a referral. The sales cycle will probably take a little longer as well. And the last category, cold leads ready to buy later. This is the one where you probably have the biggest opportunity to improve. Here's a good example. Someone does a Google search and finds your website. They know nothing about you. They call into your office and start asking questions about cost and process, how long it will take, and so on. Then you ask some questions about their project and they say they're just researching. Does this sound familiar? That's where most of you write off these leads. Google leads are junk leads, or I cringe when I hear a lead found us on Google. But this is where you have such a big opportunity. Instead of dismissing this lead, what if you started investing in their education? You could put them on your monthly newsletter list and ask them to follow you on social media. You can check in with them every three months or every six months. You can invite them to events you're hosting and let them know when your company has won an award or completed a new project. And you know what? All of these things can happen automatically and require very little work once the system is running. This is the process of filling your future pipeline. Now, will all of these leads buy from you in the future or buy it all? Of course not. But will some of them? Absolutely. So fast forward a year in your mind, you've been adding all these so-called junk leads to your newsletter list and checking in with them periodically. They've seen your projects, your helpful blog content, and now they've shifted boxes. Now they're warm leads because they know you. They know your brand. You've been there every step of the way during their research process, and now they're ready to buy. You just move these leads from cold later to warm now. The lead matrix is all about understanding where a lead is at and how to approach and address that lead. By implementing these strategies, you'll start filling your future pipeline, and that's how you start to grow your business. It takes time because you have to start treating those leads that are ready to buy later in the correct fashion. But as you start to work the system, you'll end up with more leads in all of the buckets. You're gonna have warm leads ready to buy now, cold leads ready to buy now, but then since you've been staying in touch with those leads that are ready to buy later, you'll start moving more of those cold leads ready to buy later into the warm now bucket. So the pile of leads in every single bucket gets a lot bigger. To quickly recap, warm leads now, typically referrals are the best leads, but are limited. Cold leads now, typically from marketing and advertising are ready to go, but you have to put in extra effort to build trust and credibility, and that stretches out the sales process a little bit. Warm leads later, typically referrals, require some follow-up touches and help build your future pipeline. Cold leads later, typically from marketing and advertising, require a lot of marketing and sales touches, but build your future pipeline. 
I hope the Lead Matrix reframed how you think about different types of leads. And don't forget, join the Remodeler Growth Community. It's free to apply, and we've got a link down below this video. We'll see you next time here on Builder Funnel TV.